Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is on Speed Pack Beyond Basics. I created one video called Speed Pack Basics. If you haven't watched that, I'd suggest watching that. That shows you how to go in and take a sub assembly and put it into graphic speed pack mode. So when you go in and open the file, if you open it using speed pack mode, rather than taking about a minute for this assembly to open it opened in about 20 seconds now this video is on covering the beyond basics so to begin with you can see that there's a speed pack circle that comes up that shows me what's in speed pack just by hovering over it and it shows me what I can use in that speed pack mode now in a graphic speed pack mode you can't use any of it it's just there so you can visually see it if you want to turn that circle off under your options there is an area for the speed pack circle if you want to turn it off you can check on this option right here and it'll turn it off I would suggest keeping it on because it shows you what's in speed pack mode that's the only sub assembly I have in speed pack mode speed pack really only works in assemblies and it's for sub assemblies so if I have all these other sub assemblies over here that I want to go put in more of an advanced speed pack mode I can right click with the control key selected and go to speed pack options and then select create a mated speed pack when I create a mated speed pack it's a little bit heavier than a graphic speed pack but you can see what it's doing is it's given me the pieces in there that were mated so if I wanted to go in and mate more things to the sub assembly I could click on that plate or the plates edges or the plates parts that were put into that speed packs mated configuration so let me show you how this works on this one right here on this little wrist cuff I, I, I can't really access that front rail piece that has my fasteners in it and I'd like to use that for mating so if I right clicked on the mated speed pack and opened that sub assembly up let's dive in and see what a mated speed pack is really it's a real lightweight version even lighter than the normal lightweight inside of SolidWorks it's really turned your little sub assembly into a graphics like e-drawing if I was to use an analogy now if we're wanting to know where the meat is it's under the configuration this is just macroed in making this speed pack this is the old way of doing it going into the configurations and making it manually and then telling it all the pieces that we use to mate well I want to add an additional piece that I can use when I'm in speed pack mode so I don't have to take it out of speed pack mode in order to do that matter of fact I could go in and add an entire sketch or other entities to my speed pack mode that makes this available so when I'm in the sub assembly I can access that sketch and do things to it so really it makes a little bit heavier of a speed pack but if you don't want to go back and forth from taking it out of the speed pack mode and putting it back in you want to get as much stuff that's regularly used in the speed pack as possible so now when you go back into the speed pack assembly that you have the assembly speed packed you're not really doing anything now I have access to that information inside the speed pack I can get to this component to mate to the face or edges and I can also get to the sketch that was in that speed speed pack and do whatever I want with it so that's really the basics or beyond basics of utilizing speed packs really easy ways of going in and putting it in the speed pack mode now again if I came out here and looked I could go back to set it to parent and as I spoke to you about in the basics speed pack video that I created in order to turn this back into a speed pack mode that would be at this time a graphic speed pack rather than a mated speed pack I really need to get back in to that configuration and edit or delete this configuration and restart my speed pack over again so you really want to you know start off with the right speed pack mode and 
the right information in your speed pack mode that you might want to use to mate with or modify as you go on with your design. So that's speed pack beyond basics. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Bruce Schaller. Mm -hmm.